Hey friends, we all have heard of Deen Ilahi, but what does that mean? And who was the founder of Deen Ilahi? Let's find it out. Welcome back to the channel Seriously True. And today we are going to know about the founder of Deen Ilahi. Let's get started. Jalal Uddin Muhammad Akbar, the greatest of the Mughal emperors of India, founded in 1852 a new religion called Deen Ilahi, which means divine religion. This religion tried to bring together the Hindus and Muslims by combining the good points of Hinduism and Islam. Akbar wanted Hindus and Muslims to worship God at the same shrine in a common ritual. Deen e Ilahi was essentially an ethical system prohibiting sins such as lust, sensuality, slander and pride. At the same time laying emphasis on virtues of piety, prudence, abstinence and kindness. The soul was encouraged to purify itself. Through yearning for God, celibacy was condoned and the slaughter of animals was forbidden. There were no scared scriptures or a priestly hierarchy in this newly founded religion. But this religion did not attract many followers and practically died with Akbar. Akbar was the son of Humayu and the grandson of Babur. He was born on October 15, 1542 at Amarkot, Sindh, which is now in Pakistan. Akbar became the governor of Punjab at the age of 13 and succeeded his father Humayu to the Mughal throne in 1556. With able generalship, he overthrew his rivals and embarked embarked upon a career of conquest which by 1562 gave him domain over Punjab and Multan, the basin of the Ganges and Yamuna river, Gwalior to the south and Kabul in Afghanistan. Subsequently, he crossed the Narmada river into the Deccan and intended his dominion southward. By 1605, his empire contained 15 provinces or Subhahas and stretched from the Hindu Kush mountains to the Godavari river and from Bengal to Gujarat. In order to preserve the unity of his empire, Akbar maintained good relations with the non-Muslim population. He won the loyalty of Hindus and other communities as well. He reformed and strengthened his central administration, centralized his financial system and reorganized tax collection procedure. Akbar was loved by everyone. So guys, now you know who was the founder of Deen Ilahi. So with this, we end this video. I hope you like the video. If so, hit on the like button. Do share the video with your friends, family and loved ones and keep watching seriously true do not forget to subscribe the channel we'll be right back with a new video till then take care goodbye